Like, and I'm coming to you today from the Darjeeling constituency which went to the polls. I'm in the plains at the moment, but the issue that one issue that dominated the elections in this constituency today was a separate state of Gorkha land. Broadly speaking, the people in the hills want it, the people in the plains do not. And they had 13 candidates to choose from, among them the most prominent of course, Bai Chung Bhutia, Trinamool's candidate for Darjeeling, footballer turned politician. His party has clearly said no Gorkha land, whereas SS Aluwalia of the BJP has said maybe he hasn't ruled it out entirely. Now this has created a huge commotion and the big question is will SS Aluwalia repeat what Jaswant Singh did last time? Jaswant Singh of the BJP last time won with a massive, massive margin in Darjeeling, but this time there promises to be a much tighter fight. <laughs> In the hills of Darjeeling, celebrations even before polling. Last time, Jaswan Singh had won by two and a half lakh votes. The Gorkha Jan Mukti Morcha spearheading the demand for Gorkha land had backed him then. The Morcha is backing BJP's SS Aluwalia now. Confident that Narendra Modi will reach Delhi and seriously consider its demand for a separate state. Which is why when people came out to vote in the hills of Darjeeling today, they had only one mantra on their lips. The big issue here in the hills is, besides development, a separate state for Gorkha land. We need to Gorkha land. That's why we are supporting BGP. But down in the plains, the mood is very different. No question of dividing Bengal, most say. No question of Gorkha land. Bengal is a big issue with the Gorkha land. If the Gorkha land is a big issue with the Gorkha land, then it should happen. If the public is a big issue, if there is no benefit, then it should happen. This is not a Gorkha land. What is significant is, of the seven assembly constituencies in the Darjeeling Lok Sabha seat, three are in the plains with six lakh voters and four are in the plains with eight lakh voters. But in the hills, while there are two main candidates, Bhai Chung Bhutia and SS Aluwalia, with an independent Mahindra Lala, who may play spoiler for the BJP. In the plains, the votes are likely to be split between the CPM and the Congress as well. See, I think it's only spoken by BJP and Morcha. Last election was fought, fought completely on Gorkhalan and people voted for them. And they made BJP win with Morcha for the issue of Gorkhalan. When they won, what did BJP do? Not a single but, uh, you know, voice was spoken in, in parliament regarding Gorkhalan. We have categorically said in our manifesto that we will sympathetically examine and appropriately consider the long pending demands of Gorkhas. We are waiting for the 30th state, that is a state, and that would only fulfill the aspirations of the people of the hills and the plains. And that is why we are keenly fighting, and this time we are going to fight it out and we are going to achieve it. The Gorkha Janmukti Morcha, led by Bimal Gurung, has brewed power in the hills and has today ensured most voted for Aluwalia. But TMC has also done its best for Bhutia in the plains, resorting according to Aluwalia's allegations to strong arm tactics even in some places. Will May 16 widen the divide between the hills and the plains even more? Can the twain ever meet? Darjeeling is holding its breath. With Monidipa Banerjee in Darjeeling in New Delhi, Vega Bakshi for NDTV. Well, I have a lot of friends with me here in Shuliguri where I am in the plains and then I have friends up in the hills who have been telling me different from what these friends have been telling me all evening today. So I best thought that we should get Salim here to sing a song that perhaps fits the mood like none other. Go ahead, Salim. Imagine there's no heaven It's easy if you try No hell below us Above us only sky Imagine all the people Living for today Imagine there's no country It isn't hard to do 